Oh, hey. So you're thinking about moving to the M Streets, but not sure exactly uh, how it would uh, turn out? Well, in this video, we're gonna take you to a couple of different houses here in the M Streets, but also right around here. It's right off of Greenville Avenue, which if you've checked out a couple of our other videos, especially the one for young professionals, we really lay out that you know, the M Streets is one of the best neighborhoods uh, for young professionals and young families. Really cool homes, but the most important thing is that you're right here on Greenville Avenue. And as you can see, you can kind of see uh, Dallas in the background right there. They've got some great rooftop bars up here. And this place we're at right now, HG Supply, one of my favorite bars, great food, great drinks. And it's the middle of January. Now, would you sit <laughs> on a rooftop bar in the middle of January where you're at? If your answer is no, then you might want to consider moving to Dallas and we're going to get after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time on this channel and you want to know everything there is about eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good and the bad of living in Dallas, Texas, as you can see, it's right behind me, then please subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market in Dallas. And my name is Levi and my partner, Jimmy and I, we get calls and emails every single day, as you can see from people uh, just like you looking to make a move to Dallas. We absolutely love it. So, you know, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, you know, just be sure to give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. We'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Dallas. So as I mentioned, we are here off of Greenville Avenue and uh, we're gonna be showing you around the M Streets today, which is one of the best neighborhoods, one of my favorite neighborhoods in all of Dallas. Uh, some great historic homes. Uh, you know, they're a little bit pricier, but you're paying for convenience, you're paying for location, and you're right here in the middle of everything. As you can see, we are uh, right up here at HG Supply, as I mentioned, right at the top of uh, Greenville Avenue. You can kind of see all up and down there's quite a bit to do. Look, it's a beautiful sunset right now. Uh, and you got downtown Dallas right there. So what more could you ask for? Well, uh, not much. And this really have everything. You even got the Trader Joe's right there. You got everything you need here uh, off of this area and you're right in the middle of everything again and you're close to downtown. So let's uh, let's go check out the first house. Uh, it's gonna be around 580,000, which is probably gonna be the low point you're gonna find for a single family home but uh, let's go Let's go check it out. All right, so I wanted to give you a quick shot here on Greenville Avenue so you can see, look at this. They just put in this, this uh, cool little restaurant right there, son of a butcher. You see, you've got a Trader Joe's right there. Um, if you want something to eat, you can see over here all the restaurants and bars uh, all along over there. And we're going right now up, up to uh, HG Supply, which is an awesome rooftop bar. It overlooks Dallas. You can see downtown Dallas, but again, you've got Pizza, that's one really good pizza spot right there. Uh, French Bakery, that's awesome as well. You got the French Bakery. And then you've got, so if you wanna work out, even you got Social Mechanics right here. And, um, and over there, you got some clothing shops, some more restaurants and bars, but we're gonna go in right here at HG and you can see up top, they've got the restaurant and whole bar up there. Uh, and so uh, we'll, we'll go check that out too. But anyways, just wanted to get you kind of an idea of that so you could kind of see, get an idea of uh, Greenville Avenue. All right, so we're at our first house here, uh, right off of Greenville Avenue in sort of the M Street area. And this home right behind me is a three bedroom, three bath. It's a 580,000, which is gonna be about the least expensive single family home you could find. And yes, it is a single family home, uh, it does have two car garage, but you, as you can see, it's kind of on this zero lot. And you'll see here, and I'm on this this little street, just one block off of Greenville Avenue. And they they put these homes in around 1998. Uh, and as you can see, again, zero lot homes, just kind of put them all together. So this is a very tight knit street right here. But you can kind of see right behind me is uh, on Belmont Avenue. There's a lot of historic homes. That's what we're gonna get into a little bit more here in the M Streets. And that you're gonna get a little bit more up in the price range around 700 to, uh, to a million. But that's will take you to the next point. But again, this one behind me, uh, three bedrooms, three baths, just over 2,400 square feet for 580. So that puts the price per square foot around two, I think $240 or so, which is still reasonable and still good for this area. And and again, if you're looking for a single family home and you wanna be right in the middle of everything, uh, this you're walking distance to everything. You literally one block off and you're on Greenville Avenue, you got restaurants, bars, we're, we're just uh, walking distance to lower Greenville actually. So where uh, a lot of great nightlife, 
there's a good mix of the young and the old. So no matter what age you're in, you, uh, you have plenty to do there. And great, some of my favorite restaurants like Wabi House, uh, right around the corner uh, for ramen. Uh, HG Supply got a great rooftop bar. We'll even, um, uh, you know, take you around and show you a couple little other spots there. But other than that, you know, it's this is a pretty good option right here. But again, 580, that's probably about as low as you're gonna get here in the M Street area. But you're also, you know, five to 10 minutes to downtown. You're really centrally located in all of Dallas. So another great option. So let's go check out the next house. All right, so this house is gonna be pretty cool. You'll see this one right behind me. This is a three bedroom, two bath, and it's right at 735,000. It's just over uh, 20, 22 to, or 2,400 square feet, but it's also built in 1926. So almost uh, coming up on almost 100 years old, but this home has actually been completely restored on the inside and it's really, really cool. They got a lot of shiplap. Uh, they've got some of the older appliances, if you're a fan of that, where, uh, you know, they, um, some of those old school looking white appliances, but they're, but they're new. Uh, look at this, you got some of that desert landscaping right here on the side and you'll see, I'm just gonna kind of come over here to the side of the house as well. But again, we're right here, uh, a block off of Greenville Avenue, which is gonna give you access to all the restaurants and bars and shops and everything. So you can kind of see here, get a side view of the, ha the house as well. But of course, you know, in the summertime, all these, all these trees are gonna be, um, you know, full with leaves and look really nice. It looks like they've got a great sized backyard. They've got a two car garage in the back as well. But this would give you an idea as far as what you can get in this neighborhood. For around 735 and again because you're right here in the m streets in greenville then then uh, you know you're getting the older homes that have been restored uh, it's a great great area and that's what you're paying for of course is the proximity and the location and everything that you're looking for as far as being close to downtown but also being in the middle of a neighborhood as well being able to walk uh, and get to uh, you know the nightlife and brunch spots and everything you need uh, in the area so that's uh that covers it basically for the 735 range so let's go check out the next price point point. and just so you can get an idea of what your neighbors you know would look like at this house as well you can see right behind me there and that house again all these homes around here most of them are going to be historic and, and and mostly in good shape a lot of people have really done some great jobs uh, but there's still going to be some fixer uppers and you could probably still find a couple of deals uh, and then they stuck this they stuck this modern one uh, I don't know what's going on there, but you, you see, you still got some, some of the old uh, traditional craftsmen and bungalows lining down that way. And then right down there is Greenville Avenue. So it's all walkable. And again, then you got the one, you got the one that somebody's always got to do something different, right? It still looks pretty cool though. I, I kind of like it. I'm not really a big fan of whenever they stick something completely different in the neighborhood, but uh, that one kind of, I don't know, kind of works out. And I'm curious what that one looks inside, but I don't know, we'll see next time it goes on the market. All right, so now let's go check out the next uh, next price point. All right, now this is what I love about the M Streets is these these Tudor homes, and Tudor homes are kind of the traditional staple home of Dallas. I really like this a lot, but there's there's a little tricky part to this is this home was actually built in 2012, so this is where I can get behind new construction in the older neighborhoods is whenever they they build it. And, and actually make it look like a part of the neighborhood or the old part, so that's what I really enjoy. But you'll see they also do this in the M Streets. Like this was probably a teardown right here and they built this craftsman style home right behind me. Uh, that's gonna be new construction probably within the last 10, 10 to 15 years. But you still, look at it, you got a little Spanish style right here. You've got this uh, craftsman right behind me as well. And so the M Streets are really gonna be uh, just different styles but mainly Tudor homes craftsman bungalows again but this one right behind me is a four bedroom three bath it's 2700 square feet and this one is um, right around 750,000 so that should give you an idea about a, a little bit more of what you're going to find here in the M streets around the 750 and above if you want to kind of get a little bit more into that square footage so uh, but again, we're not, we're about two blocks off of Greenville Avenue. And so still walkable to everything that you need. Uh, and, and, but you're on a nice quiet street. Uh, there's someone walking their dog down there right now. But again, 
you know, hey, middle of January right now, actually towards the end of January here in Dallas, we've got beautiful sunny day. I don't even have a jacket on out here. So again, if you're concerned about the weather, if you make it through two months of summer, the rest of the year is usually pretty good. But we've got a saying down here in Texas that if you don't like the weather, just wait a minute and it'll change. So it is a little sporadic sometimes and can be, uh, you know, a little difficult to deal with from time to time. But I'd, I'd rather take this than spending eight months in winter anytime. But you can see here, pretty cool neighborhood. I love the M Streets, one of my favorite. Definitely a great spot if you should check out our other video on young professionals, where you should live. We feature this in, uh, in that neighborhood as well. Uh, but it's it, overall great access to everything. 75 just right on the other side. So if you're gonna be commuting, you got a quick shot to the highway. So you can keep that uh, handy about not even 10 minutes to downtown, if that. If there's no traffic, maybe, yeah, eight to 10 minutes to get to downtown. Uh, you can get up to North Texas, or North Dallas, I should say, Frisco, that area very easily as well. North Park Mall. Everything very accessible, but uh, yeah, I like that. I like how they built this, even though it was built in 2012, and that's, a, I think, a great option, which means uh, you, you're not gonna have to deal with a lot of the, the, old, <laughs> the old problems that you have to deal with with an old house. So now, let's go check out a million. All right, so you can kind of, you can see Greenville Avenue behind me, and there's the, uh, what is that, House Halkine? That coffee shop is pretty awesome. I love that place. Great little uh, breakfast spot, but also coffee and lunch. Uh, you've got um, Blue Goose Cantina, one of the best little Tex-Mex spots here in Dallas right there. But you kind of get an idea of what Greenville Avenue, that all of Greenville Avenue has covered that. We actually got some footage we can show you. But now you get into some of these homes. So, so you can see how close you are to Greenville Avenue uh, whenever I say you're just a block off what you have access to. You can see this home just sold uh, for about 800000 right there. It looks, these look a lot bigger than what, what they may look like here. Uh, so they're, they're a little deceptive, but you can still see all these old style homes. And I'm walking you down to one right now that is uh, on the market for just over a million so you can get a good idea. But this is one of the nicest streets here on, in the M Streets neighborhood. Again, look at that house. Isn't that pretty cool? I just, I just love these old homes. You can even see on the other side over here as well is, again, what you have. Uh, you can see what you're going to be looking at with your neighbors. Look at this. This is, like a, this is like Frodo's house or something in Lord of the Rings. I mean, I just think that's so cool. But we're coming up on here on this one is this one's just right over a million dollars. But this one is a four bedroom, a four bath, 3,700 square feet. So that should give you an idea that looks can be deceiving because it may not look that big, but this house is very deep and it's got a good sized backyard. And, and the deceptive part too as well is this is actually not a historic home. They just finished this one. This is a new build uh, and uh, actually right in 2019. So I think there's only been one owner, so it's still pretty brand new, but they really did some good finishes in there uh, as well. So it was, it was done well. And again, whenever they build it old like this, I really like that. Uh, and I think that works out well for the neighborhood. And I, M Streets are, I believe, a historic district. So that's the other things. Whenever you build in here, they're probably gonna have certain restrictions and covenants to that, but um, you could see this one right here probably could use a little updating, I would say, I would imagine. But again, you look behind me and this is what you're going to be looking at your, with your neighbors. Uh, still very cool spots, all these homes. You can kind of look back and see um, all the way down. There was, there was people walking, uh, walking their dogs, walking all over the place. And it's just really great quiet. You hear? You don't hear, <laughs> hear a lot of noise right now, even though you're a block off the of Greenville. So very quiet neighborhoods. And again, this, this part is popping during St. Patty's Day. Uh, Greenville is known for the best block party in all of Dallas during uh, St. Patty's Day. Hopefully that'll be back in 2021. Not really sure what the situation will be. And you can kind of see here from the side, see how, see how deep this house is. Two story, goes all the way back. Good sized backyard. But uh, again, you're paying for, you know, when you come here to the M Streets, you're paying for convenience you're paying for charm, you're paying for access to all the restaurants and bars and everything that you, you know, if you want to be in the middle of everything, that's what you're paying for whenever you come to the M Street. So it is a happening 
uh, neighborhood, residential neighborhood that's right in the middle of everything. So if you don't want to be in a condo or townhome, then then the M Streets is where it's at, if you don't mind paying a little bit more. But again, great neighborhoods, awesome houses, and you gotta come check it out. Definitely have the M Streets on your list. So now let's, uh, let's uh, do a little market recap. Let's go grab a bite to eat or a coffee, and I'll, I'll give you an update on, on the, the market here in the M Streets. All right, I know we don't feature a lot of apartments uh, you know, on this, on, uh, on this channel, but just wanted you to see, uh, again, right off of Greenville, and they just built this whole complex here, the Alexan. So it's a, it's a pretty awesome apartment complex here. So if you wanted to just rent something down here first, you see you've got some condos and towns, townhomes right behind me. And then you can see that big crane in the back. They're building a huge complex there as well. Uh, and again, we're right off of right off of Greenville Avenue. This was a great Tex-Mex Tex uh, restaurant right here. Unfortunately, it didn't survive COVID times, uh, which was is too bad. But I'm sure something will come in its place, and we'll have to keep an eye out for that. So now let's go. Let's uh, go on to the next, the next uh, whatever we're going to check out. I don't even know what we're doing at this point. Thank you. 